Oh, I gotta fix that. Sorry, guys. I got my uh, little extra image up here in the corner. You can. Yeah. <laughs> it's up there, but you can't see that with my other finger. It's. it's... <laughs> Sorry, guys. I, I have a fixing that or not doing that. Like before we start, I'll get onto the chat. There we go. Okay. Hi. Sorry about that, guys. But of course, Lance here with Harper, we are doing another taste test, which we haven't done in quite a while, but we've had very busy schedules, so that's why we haven't gotten to them. Yeah, and it's we not have, because we didn't want to. It's not because we didn't want to, and we got a bunch of random stuff for you guys today. What should we try first? Um, shall we go with something to drink, or shall we go with something to eat? I think eat. What do you want to try first? Uh, uh, let's see. Pink. Yeah, I dyed my hair pink. Where, where did we put everything else that we were going to try? Oh, it's in the it's in the five below bag. This five below bag? Or this five? Oh, this. No, that's our five, five below bag. That's the ones. That's the, some of the stuff I have. Remember the warhead? Oh yeah, the warhead thing. And then we got the M and M's. We got the Cheez Its. We got the spicy chocolate. Yes. The spice. Taste. Sparkling pumpkin spiced apple cider. It's a little old. It's a bit old. <laughs> it's not fall anymore. It isn't fall. This is uh from when does it say Best Buy? If I have a shelf life. Uh, guess what? What? Oh, there it is. Best Buy... Oh. How old? <laughs> oh, let's just say it was Best Buy 2018. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, well, let's give it a try. What, what, what harm will it do? Well, all it can do is give us gas. Maybe. <laughs> if we're lucky. <laughs> it won't kill us. No, but it's not going to be comfortable. Oh, please. We'll be fine. Maybe not. Uh, we'll see. Yeah, this is just temporary. It's with Arctic Fox, so it'll go away. And if you guys notice, I have, if you guys have been watching our streams lately, you notice I have cut my hair finally. Since our last live, our last taste test, I've since cut my hair, and today it is actually style for once. And I'm working on my knitting challenge. Yes, she is, and it's gotten very long. Quite long. It's, long. it's like, like a snakeskin. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not even done with the ball. This is the ball. Yeah, yeah. it's gotten a lot smaller. It's about like... Maybe halfway at best? Uh, not even. Not I even. said at best. Gotta work on it. At worst, three quarters. But he will be using it for his cosplay. Yes, I will, for my special, unique, original character for the Ruby universe. So we have come up with some fun side characters. I'm still working on my Christmas Ruby outfit, which yes. we did for Scarborough, which we'll probably live, or try to see if we can't get some video of us with it. Mm -hmm. I know I know, I know, I know I was, I still need to upload that video from the rock cracking thing. Yes, yes, you do. Cause but upload it from Anime Fest w when that comes in. Yeah. That'd Which be will be in August. Yes. My dress should be here way before then, and his costume should be almost done by then. Yes. It's almost done. We got the helmet at least and the, and the swim trunks. We just need the shirt. And I need sandals. Not flip-flops with actual sandals, because... I, we can find it while I roll the is, As we've discussed, Caboose is the kind of person that would wear socks with his sandals. And the long socks, too. Not just the short ankle socks like I'm wearing right now, but the actual ones that go up to frickin' here. You probably should get blue ones for that, or maybe black. Probably black. Black. I got some black ones I can use. Okay. But, yeah. They're very fluffy. Well. I finally got everything I needed for my Christmas Ruby cosplay, so yay! Good. And his shirt will be here eventually. Yes, that's the final piece for my costume. Which is, we found it on Amazon. It is a Hawaiian shirt that has skulls all over it. And what we're going to do is a special surprise. With it. We gotta yes, see. Yes, we're gonna have some fun with that. We're gonna try and see if we can alter it just a smidge. Just because we, if you watch Red vs. Blue, you might have an idea of what we're gonna do with those skulls. <laughs> we'll see. If you guys figured out, Please don't spoil it for anybody else. Yeah, because, you know. You know, we, don't, we don't, really, don't really care for spoilers, but whatever. And you'll see my cat Simba ro roaming around. Simba! Meow! You can see him at the edge of the screen a bit. Come here, you. Oh, fluffy boy. It's like, what, 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 what? Is he going to settle? He's going to settle. And he settles. He's going to need your knee, though. <laughs> Don't he didn't even start kneading. He just put his claw right into my leg. Ow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he got sharp little diggers. Not any sharper than the kittens. True. 
Those are sharper because they're kitten Well, he claws. has more weight behind it. Well, he's a cat, not a kitten. Yes, yes, that is true. Okay, let's get on the taste test. Cause yes, we're because we're, we're, just, we're just screwing around like we always do with our live streams. Yeah. So let's start off. I think we'll start off with these. The Cheez-Its for cheese flavor. I have not actually tried this one. I think Harp has. I have. I like Cheez-Its. I've always liked them. We always like Cheez-Its. I mean, if you can't tell, I got some uh, white cheddar Cheetos crunchy style down here. Okay. Or cheese pasta. <laughs> I couldn't even get it in my I, mouth. I saw that too. <laughs> I am such a dark. Pretty good, huh? Cheesy. Oh, they're good. Well, we're watching all these during our play our playthrough of our next game, which we're going to play a special co-op game today. We're not going to we're not going to tell you what yet. It used to be co-op Tuesday. Today used to be co-op Tuesday. Then schedules change. Our shifts and our schedules. So we used to actually do two stream. We would do if we could two streams a day on Tuesday. Or Thursday, depending. Or Thursday, depending upon. We'd do a taste test one one day, and we'd also do a stream that day as well. Yeah. Oh, welcome to the stream, guys. Hi. Let's see. Which one should we try next? Mm, let's try the M&M's. I was going to say, why don't, why not go for the M&M's? The Crunchy Mint M&M's. We haven't tried this yet. Oh, sweet. Thank you for following me. Please on, subscribe if you can. If you, if you also would subscribe to, my, to our channel, that'd be awesome as well. Because this would go away... At 50. We have four more subscribers, and we'll, you guys will see a video of me getting shaved. Yeah. Harper will help. And then if we hit what? 100, you'll see me holding a tarantula. Yes, we will. I, I, I am trying to get over my fear of... of uh, Speeders? Yeah. I have arachnophobia. Not as bad as I used to. I used to really... I used to be really bad. Uh, like people from Eight-Legged Freaks? Yeah. <laughs> That was a bad movie. That was a I bad actually, movie. I have actually never seen that movie. It, it was bad! But I've seen the puppet tree when it came to the spiders, and they were oh so creepy. Oh, they were. Uh, especially the Black Widow. No, wait, wait. What was the jungle spiders? Was that even from Jumanji? Oh, that, those ones? The really, really jittery, creepy-ass ones? With that orange? I don't remember if they're being orange. I just remember there's something, I think... I think there's a movie called Arachnophobia or something. There is actually a movie called Arachnophobia. But were those ones orange? Is there... No, they were actually just spiders. They were normal spiders. They're normal size everything. It's the ones like ice spiders and stuff like that. Which no, really I remember bad. watching like a movie behind the scenes thing. On, I mm -hmm. don't know what channel it was when I was a kid. But it was these orange bright... These spiders had bright orange legs and were creepy. And they were showing them how they puppet, puppet them. Oh, where'd that come from? About five miles in that direction. <laughs> Sorry, we do that. We're dorks. We are very big dorks. Okay, so yeah, I've never, I've, been, I've never been a fan of spiders ever. Yes. There's only what? There is one species of spider that's actually vegetarian. Yeah, I know. Only one in the entire world. Charlotte. Charlotte. Yeah, Charlotte Lucas, Lucas. The spider from Bugs Life. Uh, the Black Widow. Black Widow? She's a Black Widow. Yeah, I know. The spider from that, and then what was the other one? Um, that What's little the... sand spider? Oh yeah, the French sand spider. Well, there's a bit, if, if you guys look it up, look up, uh, French, or sand, or spider with French accent, um, on, you, on YouTube, and it's hilarious. Especially because it's a six-eyed sand spider. Highly venomous, very dangerous spider, but really funny video, because yeah. guys get, uh, voicing over the spider. While it's trying to bury itself in the sand. It's, it's so hilarious. Weird. I do admit. It's fear, it just gonna take some time. Okay. I'm gonna take a few more because I love, I love minty things. I don't like mint and chocolate. I had too much mint chocolate chip ice cream as a kid. Yeah, it made me sick one time. Me too. That's why I don't do mint and chocolate very much. Okay. Ready? Two. One. Two. One. Hmm. Crunchy. Mildly refreshing. Mm -hmm. I like it. Not overly minty either. It's just that nice light mint. That is actually pretty good. It's actually lighter than mint chocolate chip. It is. I like it. It's more chocolatey than minty. It's like the Andes mints you get from uh, Olive, Olive Garden. Garden. Oh, 
know who to text me. It's stuck. Of course it is. <laughs> okay. Now there's something that I'm just going to try it by myself. It is Warhead's Dippin' Ring. Sour, uh, sweet candy, blue raspberry, sweet candy ring, green apple, sour candy powder. So it's like a baby baby bottle pop. Basically. My mom would let me got, get one of those when I was a kid. I used to get them every now and then. My mom would let me. Now, ring pops, my mom would mind me getting Now I got that stupid jingle in my head. What? The baby bottle pop jingle. <laughs> the original one is like, ugh. Oh, come on! What are the odds? My luck. It's very pacifier shaped. <laughs> it kind of does look like a big pacifier. Here, you open After this. you suck on it for a while, it will be shaped like a pacifier. That's nice, nice, uh, nice uh, yeah. That's a nice little lid. Okay, blade's coming out. And I have an actual day off soon. Yes. A full day off, so not waking will, up at all. Yes, we will actually have a nice long day together. On Thursday. On Thursday. So hey, maybe soon. we can go check out Detective Pikachu again. That'd be cool. We'd have to take my nephew. I promised that I would take it if we went and saw it again. Okay, we're not gonna go see Detective Pikachu. Maybe we'll see Aladdin. For cheap. That is not sour. Okay. Let me, let me like this. Or... Voila! Yeah, because your other ring is, uh... Yeah, my, my engagement ring, we had a little accident with it on, uh, what was it? Saturday or Sunday? Friday. It was Friday. Um... We're, we... do we're doing good! Because of the way it was set, um, sadly they only used three prongs to hold the stone in place. And so it's not very secure, so just, just, it shouldn't have fallen out at all. They no. should have added two, at least one or, or two more uh, prongs to the setting so it didn't fall out at all. So that's what's going to happen. We're going to have to have that done. Uh, so it's going to be a little altered from its original form. So I'm without my engagement ring and I feel so naked. It was scary. I panicked. I really did because it was at work. I work in a bakery. It could there are drains anyway. nearby. Yeah. Luckily, That's my friend. Expensive stuff. Yes, I know it's expensive. Luckily, my friend Dominique found it. Yeah, her name's changed, but yeah. But she found it and she helped me get it, and I calmed down because I was about wait, I was about ready to faint. I was seeing stars, sparkly stars, but stars nonetheless. Anyways. This is not gonna be. This is not gonna be us. We're gonna get a cheap. Ooh. No. I'm sorry. I, I I buy blades from True Swords. That's where I got her first katana. Which is over here, over there. there. Um, and so I get newsletters from them. They they update me on new sales for for swords. They have a. This is my uh, replica of Rukia's katana from Bleach. The sound of silence. I. I haven't even practiced with it. It's, it's been in the sheath more, more often than not. Uh, the, I want to be. Oh, I have it. Nice. Yeah. Yep, some candy case testing, some, we had some crackers or crisps or whatever. Most of it actually is candy now that I think of it. We got m and Well, junk food mostly, so. Yeah, junk food. But we, we're not eating all of it in one go. We're no. taking our time to eat it, so. And then, okay, and we lick this and then. I'm not a big fan of blue raspberry. Not even sour, is it? Hell no! That's that's I got chipped. Oh yeah, that's why I didn't do it. Because <laughs> I knew Warhead Warheads has gone downhill severely over the years. Back when we were kids, oh, when it first came out, I it those. was a challenge between people. See how many you can fit in your mouth without Sp spitting, spitting it out or you know 
passing out kind of thing, kind of. <laughs> or crying, or... Yeah, if you had tears in your eyes, that, that's how sour the stuff was. And it's not just because we're older. Well, partly because our taste buds have changed since then, but back then, they, they were they were sour. Yeah, because your old pops are always good. I love them when oh, I was Oh, yes. I love the orange ones. Those were my favorite. The orange one was my favorite. And then I think if you could if you could find the wrapper with the star on it, you could send it in and you get you get something. That was a myth. That was a myth. That was a myth. I did not know that. It was a rumor or an urban legend that if you found a wrapper with a star on it, you send it in, or you gave it to the ice cream man you bought it from, you get a freebie. Now some ice cream trucks actually honored that whole thing because they knew it was a, a big urban legend around people, but for the most part, nope, you can get squat. Because I found a ton of those over the years. Me too. Even just the... The, the... the powder is, is not sour. No. I mean, I've had sour stuff. Mm -hmm. It's just sad. Let's move on to the chocolate here. This is okay. a special chocolate I picked up um, from work. And I saw this actually on a markdown bin. And it is uh, cinnamon spice uh, chocolate. I'm only going to have a teeny tiny bit because I... I can't do dark chocolate. It's not. This is, well, it's dark milk chocolate. It's only 55% cocoa. Well, we'll see. I don't, I don't want to chance it. I get seriously bad migraines from eating dark chocolate, so I can only have a little bit. Like, where I had to be in a dark room, no sound, no light. And just praying that it ends soon, curled up in a teeny tiny ball. I'll even try these. Oh, you tried the hot wings today at work. Yeah, I regretted that decision. <laughs> oh, yeah. Did you see how David reacted? Dude, we're dying over there. I'm sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I had it, too. I did chug my tea. Okay, uh -huh. ready? Ready? Getting the cinnamon. Yeah. And a slight fruity taste, which is probably some of it's from the chocolate. Mm -hmm. There's the burn. Very, very nope. <coughs> a piece at the back of my throat. <coughs> <laughs> Just my luck. We also got Carolina Reaper salsa from Bucky's. I will be doing a challenge sometime yes. next week, I hope. It's not bad, it's actually really good. I hope. Pain the keyboard. I'm talking about the chocolate here. Hi there! Hello, and welcome to the stream, guys. Hopefully we'll get... We're going to try to chat up on the stream again, probably next mm -hmm. week. If you all are good, we'll be keeping it up there instead of having mm -hmm. me constantly look at down, down at my phone right here. Yep. Hopefully we'll get started on finishing some of the games that we have not finished. Soon. Yes, uh, tomorrow it is Horror Wednesday for, for my live streams. So I will be, I'm going to be working to finish up Bendy and, um, and the Ink Machine. I'm and getting I stay up and watch it because I'm getting I had... very close to finishing that sucker. Um, I have more horror games coming. Ooh, uh, fried shrimp! That sounds real good. Oh, what kind of fried shrimp? I don't know. What kind of fried shrimp? Please tell me coconut because I love coconut fried shrimp. Oh, that sounds good. With that um, that sweet chili sauce. Ooh, nice. Have you had that? There was that really cheap. It's almost like a glaze. Yeah. Oh. But uh. Sorry. No, I, I was thinking. I was I thinking of red lobster. I was. I love cooking. And I love food. So. We're gonna do. We're gonna try to do a cooking segment once I get my kitchen clean. I've been. If not, my... we do have somebody who's going to let us use their kitchen. However, before we can post the video, we have to clear that video with them first. Uh, if that. If that. Fried from a Chinese place. Still pretty good. Oh, still good. Tempura. Oh, tempura. Tempered. Good tempura fried. Oh. We really need to get back to our noodle place. Yes, we do. They have some really good tempura fried everything. Gummy bears? Ooh. What kind are you looking for kind of gummy bears? Like sour, sugar-free? If you're trying to be evil to somebody, get the sugar-free. Yeah. You can but, order those suckers online. Yeah, you. Uh, I'm sure there's plenty of channels that read the Amazon reviews. Look up the ones for the Harbo sugar-free ones yes. and just read. I, whenever I'm feeling down or sad, I'll go to the Amazon reviews for that especially, and just read. Especially the military one. That was priceless. <laughs> but re rightly deserved. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, man. 
Yeah, Barbell's a pretty good brand. Well, while we're here, we might as well try these as well. Yeah, they're... These are white cheddar jalapeno uh, Cheetos. I like white cheddar Cheetos as it is. Do we eat crawfish? Yes, I yeah. have not had them in a long, long time. I had friends from Louisiana. I went to their crawfish broil a couple years ago. It was awesome. Yeah, one of the, one of the guys, one, mm, that smells nice. One of the guys that was there was, you know, young-ish, mm -hmm. late 30s, 40s. He got drunk. So, you know, I'm going to let that crawfish pinch my nipple. He was... Oh. I, showed, I sent you the video of the crawd ad that I found, right? Yeah. So here's here's a funny story for you guys. Now, we had a big storm here like a couple weeks ago. Now, it was two weeks ago that I found this little sucker. Um, prior to, or after that storm hit, I went to go mow the lawn. And they had, for some reason, they hadn't picked up our lawn bags from the previous week. So I had two bags sitting out. I go to move them, and I see something in between. I didn't pay any attention until it started rearing up at me. It was a crawd ad. About yay long. Nice. It was pissed. I would probably be. And so I, I got, I sent her a couple photos. It was a little video of it. I picked him up, moved him behind my AC unit, and he disappeared. I have no idea where he went. <laughs> well, bye bye, crawl dad. Yeah. Well, yeah, I've had a crawl dad in such a long time. I think the last time I had it was in a, a dish. Um, but the first time I ever had it was when I was a little kid, like five or six, I think. It was in the early, early years, before I was ten years old. And, um, I was visiting my great-grandmother in Louisiana. Nice. And at her place she had, I think it was guinea hens. Nice. It was like kind of out in the country style area. Um, <laughs> that one scared the heirloom daylights out of me. Scared the the... Scared the daylights out of my dad when he was a kid. So if that if that's saying anything, my dad's a pretty tough guy. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're good. But my friends moved back to Louisiana, so I didn't get a chance to go to their other the next crawfish boil before they left because I had to work a double that day, unfortunately. Oh. You ate it without kind of, me. That tasted kind of green. Green is actually a flavor, guys. You see what I mean? <laughs> oh god, that was bad. Good thing I paid for them and not you. <laughs> yeah, those are gonna be... Those are going into what we call file 13. We can give them to some family uh, friends who <coughs> donate them to the local raccoons. Yes. Local raccoons are throwing them back. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. They're a little green tasting. Ah, oh, that's cool. But as, as I was saying about my, my, when I went and first had a... What? Nice. I, oh, I want, sweet. I wanted to travel there, but I, I haven't gotten a chance. My friends are from Louisiana. Keep inviting me to go down that way during Mardi Gras. Mm -hmm. I was like, I don't know if I really want to go down during Mardi Gras. No, because you ain't getting any beads, because you're not going to flash anybody. Hell no! Man, I wouldn't expect you to anyway. Uh, but there was a hilarious joke shirt I saw by my parents when they went to Louisiana, saw while they were down there. Oh yeah, they were ruined your teeth. Hmm? Jolly Ranchers. Actually, warheads can ruin your teeth too. Any sticky hard candy can. Because of how long that sugar sits on your teeth. Uh -huh. That's why I typically eat gummies if I'm gonna eat sweets now. Um, they go down faster. They don't I actually go for chocolate. <laughs> I actually go for a lot of uh, sugar-free chocolates. Uh, Lily's brand is very good. Um, that's one you can buy. And again, buy if you have too much of the sugar-free stuff, it's just like the Haribo sugar-free bears. It has a sugar alcohol, which will it have depends, a laxative effect. It depends on the sugar alcohol too. If you, if it's made with stevia, instead, it's actually not standard sugar alcohol, so it doesn't have that laxative effect. Yeah. Okay, what should we try the stevia next? Stevia ones are pretty are pretty good though. Uh, let's go ahead and go for the uh, the drink now. Okay. Oh, let's just see. But if anything, I'll save the glass and I can paint on it later. That did not <laughs> pop like it should have. Just pour it. It still has some carbonation, at least. I'm gonna That's okay. Hmm. Yeah, it smells okay. Okay, this is, how old is this, really? This I bought in 20... 18. At least 2018, if not 2017. What's the expiration date on it? 
No, it says Best Buy, August 16th of 2018. Oh. <laughs> it, it's, it's June. Of 2019. Oh, thank you for following me here. Thank you. Hopefully you guys enjoy our channel enough to actually subscribe to us. I do. Oh, yeah, the... you're right. Hmm. Nice Wolverine style. <laughs> kind of. It does look like Wolverine. Or at least the MCU Wolverine. Well, yeah. Fox version, not really MCU yet. So, okay, let's try this. This Hopefully is out of date pumpkin spice apple yeah, cider. Sorry, I meant to drink this much sooner. We all did. Oh, I bought this just just when we started dating that year. Oh, you're right. And we never got around to try it. No, we meant to try it sooner. We really did. We just forgot. Okay, ready? Ready. I was worried it'd, be, it'd start tasting alcoholic. <laughs> that does not work that way, hon. Well, you never know. Or become an alcoholic on me. No. Well, it's not you. fermenting, thankfully, so. But not bad. It's not bad. Not something I would try again. No. But, I, 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 yeah, I have it's, many... it's one of those flavors that you gotta try it at least once. Yeah, Airheads and Laffy Taffy are very similar, too. Yes. I love, I love both of those. I love the Laffy Taffy and Airheads. Airheads are more of the shark flavor. Or Laffy Taffy's a little bit softer. A little bit softer, and Airheads are a little bit hard, um, more chewy. Okay, what else do we have? I think that was it. We went through that way too quickly this time. We always do. Why do we do that? I don't know. Then we just wind up chatting at the end. That's sure, normal I mean, for us. I could try the salsa. You guys want me to try the salsa? It is Carolina Reaper sauce. I'm not going to eat the whole thing. It's just one bite won't kill me. So what do you think? Should I give it a go, guys? Go it kill me! <laughs> I'm going to brush my teeth after. I know that, but I'm just saying, if I even, if I even tried that, I would die! Oh, suck it up, Buttercup. Yeah, that's my saying lately. Suck it up, Buttercup. I didn't really like Gushers when I was growing up as a kid. I did. I did not. I didn't get them very often because military families, they don't exactly make, enlisted families especially, don't make a lot of money. Oh, Carolina Reaper is extremely spicy. This is one of the spiciest peppers. It is. What, we're taking out a million Scovels? 1.5 mil, actually no, I think it was 2.7. Let me look. That's what I'm about to check out because I have it on my, I have it on my phone somewhere. Please do. I remember you saying that. Or Also, there is also a ghost pepper. There it is. Too. Oh, there's also a pepper out there called a Peter pepper. Okay, come on. I'm sorry. That's the that's the page it popped up on. Okay, go <laughs> look for Carolina Reaper. I can't. Hold on. Let me find the it's big list of hot peppers. I got to go back to the big list. But we're looking at maybe if you've seen the uh, the Tri Town, we're thinking about sending a a box of beef jerky from the local jerky beef jerky place that we go to, where I got my Carolina Reaper mm -hmm. beef jerky. Scoville scale, here we are. Depends. Carolina Reaper, 2.2 million Scoville units. So this is going to be super spicy. Pure capsaicin is 16 million. That means the refined stuff that I comes from that. Either, either. Either. They've actually made a pepper that's even hotter now. So hot, it actually keep, stops people from breathing. I will not try that one. Please don't. No. Servers are good, though. There's, there's also one called a Komodo dragon. I'm curious. But, yeah, we're going to... We might... Thursday, we might head down to... Oh, that's what it looks like. ...local mall and pick up some jerky to send to the mm -hmm. Tri-Channel. There's... I'm definitely going to send them the Carolina Reaper's jerky, because that one's yes. really good. I also might pick up a, a thing for myself, but there's a couple other ones I want to try. So, anyways, do you guys want me to try this? Let us know in the comments, or in the chat, because I'll wait and see. Yeah, we're going to wait for a second. And then there's my cat giving himself a bath. Of course. Devil's Tongue Red. That sounds interesting. Oh, I want to try that, that lollipop, you know, the, oh, the, the devil's, devil's Toe? toe. Yeah. Oh, no, no, I got an idea. You mm. know the, the chip, the spicy chip? Mm -hmm. Chocolate dip it. Okay, so yeah, let's do this, baby. All right. 
It's a chocolate habanero. Ooh. It's just brown. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, I intentionally held that one in for effect. I'm sorry. It wasn't that bad. But I probably will go get me a glass of milk real fast. Yes, you better. Uno element del por favor. The... where was it? What, what was it? Which one? The, uh... Which one did I say? I don't know. I need to go get ice cream after this, though. Oh, uh, the Devil's Tongue Red is only 500,000 Scoville units. Really? Yeah. The Trinidad Scorpion, however, is a million oh, Scoville. What? Oh, fluff. That's so not a good. Yep. Okay, let's get this a go. I'm just gonna have to suffer. Now the next, there's actually a pepper that's right below the the, the Carolina Reaper. What is it called? The Trinidad Moruga Scorpion. Two million Scoville. I'm gonna try it. Look at the way it looks. Well, oh, looks like kind of like a habanero. A little too crinkly though. That's one of the things. The, the more crinkly looking the, the pepper, usually the hotter they are. Okay. Also, the shorter the they are, the hotter they are. Okay. There's a seven pot bubble gum pepper that's a million Scoville units. Mad balls. <laughs> Yeah, I have. Uh, if you guys want to look back at that channel, I did a Carolina Reaper beef jerky challenge. Oh yeah. With a video. It was one of our early actual challenge videos. Yeah. It was, it was our first challenge video. It was. I'll probably do that again, but with a different game. Yeah. Because we beat that game. It's one of the few ones we actually did beat. Actually, we still have the final level to go. I thought you beat it. I tried to. I never managed to beat the. Final oh level. yeah, because you kept dying. Okay, okay. Okay, that's a good amount of salsa. But basically, you guys got to do. Okay. Do you need some help? Yeah, I got this. Okay, y'all ready? Okay. Good for a challenge, though. Oh, and there comes the heat. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> that. That's one of those things. This particular pepper, at first, it's fine, and it sneaks up and bites you. Not bad. Ooh, this would be good for a challenge, though. Thai dragon pepper. Oh, it's one of those little buggers. Nice. Ooh. Also called the Thai volcano pepper. Yeah. That is particularly warm. Yep, um, <laughs> show me the money first. What? $10,000 for me to chug that. You better transfer the money first. Yeah. Or at least half that. Yeah. We ain't risking her health for nothing. Um. Oh, the prick pepper. Hi there! I just got finished trying this Carolina Reaper salsa. Which is actually not bad. My tongue still smells like it's on fire, but not bad. The last time I did the Carolina Reaper challenge with the beef jerky, my stomach was on fire for two days. But it was worth it. I love it. A Gunter Sanam chili. <laughs> okay, that's cool looking. <laughs> nice. Come on. I'm sorry, I, I get so so distracted by the types of chili peppers, what they look like. So let's see what's in here. We got tomatoes, canned tomatoes, onion, jalapenos, habanero, cilantro, garlic, salt, sleeper powder. It's a little far down the list there. Yeah. Yeah, most of it would go towards medical bills. It's like, well, depending on how you coat your stomach, though. Will you give me time to pepper, prepare for it, or not? That is the question. Because if you prepare your stomach, you can pretty much handle pretty much anything spicy. 
Oh yeah, we've had the Cotton Candy Greggs a ton, a ton. Love those suckers. And if you don't know how they, how they actually came about, it's kind of an interesting story. Go for it. Well, we have time. The fact, I did my research on this because a lot of people were saying, oh, it's GMO, it's genetically modified. No, it's not. It's a hybrid. Uh, they were actually trying to create a new type of wine grape. And so they crossbred a couple different species or breed, yeah, species of grapes. And as a result, basically cross-pollination process, normal, normal old school way of doing it. And the end result- It's not cheating if you prep. Nah. The end result was the cotton candy grape. They tried it before they tried to make a wine out of it, and they realized how good it was going to be, as is. And you nearly lost the... I just dropped it. Please stop shaking, I'm not mean. They, they, they yell at me. <laughs> Again, I should be no judge. I am going to be... I pre-ordered Mario Maker 2, and once I get a capture card for that, you will be streaming my Mario Maker 2 levels. Yes. And... Uh, <laughs> I'm going to be bad. She's going to be very sadistic towards whoever is going to be playing it. Which is going to be probably you, our friend, uh, Jacob, and... Uh, Hopefully Beardy. Yeah. And as far as cheating as it comes to preparing for chugginess, you can prepare any way you want. I'm probably going to take lots of antacids, mm -hmm. coat my, my stomach with lots of milk, milkshake, maybe a little bit of ice cream in there. Yogurt. Yogurt. Oh, thank you for, for, for two more followers. Sweet, Sweet, thank you. Please subscribe to the channel so he can shave his beard. Mm -hmm. The more subscribers we get, the closer we get to that goal. And the closer we're, I get we're to very close to, We're already close to hitting that, that goal as it is. Yeah. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, please do. I mean, we have, we've only got four more subscribers last I checked. <laughs> what? Two more. Oh. We got two more. <laughs> two more subscribers and we will hit that goal and you guys will see me clean shaven for the first time ever. Which might be, if, if we do this right, next week. It might be. Thursday, we are going to pick up some Pokemon cards mm -hmm. for another unwrapping. Yep. I know, we're dorks. We get it. I know, I promise If, if you guys don't like any one of our videos, feel free to just skip that video. We don't mind. Yeah. I know I said I wouldn't get any more Pokemon cards because I still have to finish organizing my collection. I haven't even organized mine at all. <laughs> um, I've been constantly collecting Pokemon cards since they came out. The thing is, as I got older, I had younger kids I used to play with that still collected them, and then as I grew up, I used to babysit, and the kids I babysat liked Pokemon, so I was like, okay, might as well keep my collection current. Right. And then I have nieces and nephews, and they like Pokemon, so I am constantly keeping my collection my current. My buzz head of a nephew is a Poke fan as well. And then my nephew is also a Poke fan, and my niece, too. She loves Eevee. Yes, we, we, we do love a Pokemon, and I, when I met, mentioned that to one of my coworkers, he told me to hand over my man card. I almost kicked him in the shin. <laughs> is that the co-worker I think it is? Marine. Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah, no. He has no word to judge. No, after hearing the way he talks to his wife on the phone. Total different cop. He, he switches, like, gears completely. He's oh. not like this total badass most of the time, but gets on the phone with his wife, all sweet and innocent acting. It's like... Yes, honey. It's like, it's like, who the hell are you and what have you done with him? <laughs> That happens, that happens. Oh, yeah. it is hilarious. You might pick up a, a blind pack from Movie Train Company. Oh, I saw a good blind pack the other day, too. Oh, shoot, where was it? Um, oh, Walgreens. They have some They have some really cool... Okay, we'll pick up a couple from Walgreens. Yeah, that's actually... I did get some cards there myself. I saw a card that had Lucario on it. That's so, so cool. we'll pick up a couple blind packs along the way. I just thought about getting the big seven... Or, what was it, $70? Mm -hmm. Thousand card pack. Mm -hmm. Plus. With a huge box of Pokemon cards for 70 bucks. Movie Trading Company. If you guys are Poke fans and you have a Movie Trading Company nearby, hit it up. Like, they do have a relatively good chance of getting something really nice. Like my my Misty's Tear. Japanese. Which own, only good the Japanese version in good condition. Good to mint condition is 100 bucks. Mm -hmm. Plus. So valuable card. Oh. Ah, hmm. I kind of see it. What? You look like Brendan Fraser. I kind of see it. Eh, maybe a little bit. I got compared to Keanu Reeves one time. It's was like, where do you see that? I don't know. My dad used to... I think, I think the person was drunk. <laughs> Probably. My dad used to be told that you looked like Tommy Lee Jones. Just a wee bit. It's a mustache. It's a mustache and then from Wilson Dove. Because Tommy Lee Jones had a mustache and mm -hmm. I facial hair during that. I don't see it. He looks more like, um, what's his name? Um, from The Ranch. 
Sam Elliott? Yeah. Yeah, that's he what looks I thought. He like Sam Elliott. Yeah, he does. Or dead. My you dad. say does, he's fine. It's fine. Um, I know. Because you will dead. always be that way in your memory. True. My dad passed away a couple years ago. But it's okay. I'm okay. He's in my heart. That's all that matters. So, this was worth it. I'm probably going to see if I can't bring this over to my best friend. Because she loves spicy food and she loves this and she can have it because it doesn't have red dye. True. It's a natural red pigment. Yes. She's so highly allergic to red dye. stop at Bucky's and grab her a, a jar of her own, too. Uh, yeah, I do that. We'll probably, we'll probably get around doing that next week. Yeah. Maybe we can take it to Bucky's after we get off, at, done with talking around. I would say that would be a good idea. She'd probably enjoy that. I'm sorry to hear about that. That kind of that, that is that is sad. That's that, that kind of sucks. Let's see. Some uh, I'm thinking about ordering uh, some Japanese cards from Amazon because we don't have a whole lot of Japanese cards. I do. <laughs> His dad was in the military. My so dad was in the dad. navy, so he would go on deployment and get stationed in Japan for a short period of time. So because I was a Pokemon fan, when I was a, he did it for me when I was a kid. And back then, Pokemon had just come out stateside. It was a huge thing. So he decided, you know what? I'm going to get my son some Pokemon cards from Japan. And this was back when Gen 2 was released, that I got most of my cards. So I have a holographic Japanese Lugia. I had, Bring your I had cards three. Thursday. I'll try to remember. I'll text you Wednesday night. Okay. Good. That way you can get it. Because... <laughs> He's been meaning to show them off for a while. I've been meaning to show off some of my really rare cards. The cards that are no longer made. Well, a lot of the cards are no longer made. Oh, no. There's one set that is never going to be made again. I know which one you're talking about. We'll Plus the it. promo cards I got from the first movie and Pokemon 2000. Uh, yes, I am still a Poke nerd. Well, I love I need Pokemon. To my friend, uh, I need to talk to my friend Carl because he brought his cards into work mm -hmm. for me to see. I took some pictures of them mm -hmm. and I priced them, so I'm kind of... They're they're not cheap cards. They're no, still pretty not. good. She wants to give them a fair deal, though. Because I don't want to chip anyone. So I'm probably going to get those cards for 30 bucks mm -hmm. for four cards. That's not bad. Yeah, it is. Especially for the rare cards. And this set I've been winding, I've been looking for for a while. Oh, the darks and the lights? Yes. I still have to get all my darks. I have, I can get the lights. Mm -hmm. But I still need to get all the darks. Right. I'm an Eevee. I love Eevees. Yes. Eevee Lucians are awesome. That's why you see Eevee sitting there over there on the on the table on the thing. But that's technically my Eevee. <laughs> I know, but you leave it here. I, I do. I, I leave I it here. I have another Eevee that I casual cosplayed as a Pokemon trainer yes. back at last time I this. Mm -hmm. This guy I'm going as Ruby. Mm -hmm. I will be as Summertime Caboose. Summertime Vacation Caboose. Yes. Which is going to be fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have the helmet is already painted, ready to go. I can't believe I actually managed to paint that thing properly. We still need to seal the paint because if it gets wet, that paint's gonna run. It's acrylic. The acrylic paint doesn't get doesn't run when it gets wet. You sure? Positive. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it's because it's still new that it did that one time. It did a little bit, but it, it worked. It, it's fine now. I mean, it looks nice and pretty and shiny. Heck, we can even show you all our helmets if you guys want. You guys want to see the helmets? Plus, you can see my original character's helmet as well. As well as mine. Yes. You're, you're still working on yours, aren't you? I still, I still got a few touches that I want to add to it because I didn't quite. I'm not fully satisfied with the look yet, but I have the basic color scheme down. So. So I can go ahead and get the helmets you guys want. What you say? What you guys say? Do you want to see a red versus blue helmets? Of course, I'm gonna be making a. Once we get our armor, we're gonna make our. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be doing videos of our armor once we have a little bit more time. We're going to be making our armor out of cardboard. Since we do work at a grocery store, we get it for free. Yes. And they don't mind. They, they're quite happy to let us take the cardboard. Yeah. <laughs> Although no cardboard from the meat market, trust me. No. Yeah. Oh, nice. Soup. My best friend. I was making ramen. <laughs> oh, Just missing the noodles. Okay, let me go grab the helmets. All right, cool. We have four. We got a lucky deal yes. on them. We got a very good deal. I was... Buy one, get one for a dollar? Yeah. Uh, At uh, Hot Topic. A couple years ago, actually. We've been we've been kind of working with these helmets for a while. They do have a nice little feature. They have little uh, four LEDs, two on each side, and they do light up. 
So it's a cool little feature they have. Um, I'm, a, I'm a fan of doing the work. What? Did you do something to the helmets in there? Oh. <laughs> Next time we put paper between them. And I'll fix the paper. Plastic then. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna repaint mine. Yeah, well, this is my original character. Eh. This it is the character to it, actually. It does kind of like scratch marks. It'll work. This is my original character. My original character's name is Agent California. If you watch Red vs. Blue, I still have some work to do on his helmet, as you can see. He's not done yet. Looks very much like a police officer, doesn't he? <laughs> <laughs> so I actually had a kind of, we had a little bit of running joke when I first started this because it was, it was based out in white. Uh, that I said that I look like Wyoming. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fuck. So for me... I've got... This thing isn't glasses friendly. As you can see, and you probably can't hear me right now. Actually, I can hear you pretty well. I'm talking about the guys on the, on the screen. Uh, let me check. Where's my phone? Oh, there it is. Hello! Can you hear me? Oh, damn, that, that reverberates into my ears. <laughs> Oh, so Note to self, do not yell in helmet. <laughs> That's what I was thinking about trying to see if we can't set up a, like, a little walkie-talkie thing. That'd be a good idea. Thank you. I'm sure there's a way to do it. Here, put on a caboose. Ah, uh, my caboose helmet. As you guys can see, I did a lot of work on him. Yeah. That's his caboose helmet. It looks almost perfect. The only problem, my, my chin sticks out. Oh, it worked. It, it it shifted. It did? Look at that. Oh, it did. We might have to fix that. The muscle it for a minute. Yeah, it's plastic. I'm surprised mine didn't. Mine felt fine. Probably got a little warm in... That corner of my bedroom? Yeah. Hmm. I was you wondering where my chin was sticking out. They can hear us real good with these. Okay, good. But yeah. Actually, if I put it on this way, it's fine. Lights on, lights off. Nice. Lights on, shit. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. I okay, can't my, my chin still sticks out a little bit, but... I'll have to do some work on it to, uh... Might have to get take a, a blow dryer or something to warm it up. Probably. Warm it. We can fix that. Yeah. But as you can see, I took the, we we actually decided she came up with the idea of adding a little bit of silver to the blue paint to make it metallic, and it gives it that perfect caboose blue. So if you guys ever want to do your own caboose or red versus blue helmets, uh, the suggestion we have is add just a little bit of silver to your base, either red or blue, to help create that nice metallic color. And this is my original red character that I've been working on. Yes. What was she... the name? Zeph? No, Zephyr was the sister. Yeah. This uh, one this is, is Z. Z. Yeah. We all call her Z because they both share the last name of Zephyr. They're twins. Yes. It's just a red versus blue skit we're working on. Yes. Slash film review, where we have our yeah. characters review films in armor. And yeah, it's got a Cal's uh, helmet didn't get warped too. No, Cal's did fine. Yeah, it's just Caboose's helmet got warped. And you can see your chin a little bit, but not bad. Bad, bad, bad. Oh, once you shave, it won't be so bad. Oh, once I shave, this is probably because my facial oh, hair is. These guys as well. are made out of plastic. Yes, these are straight out plastic. These are official. Yes, these Halo are helmets. These Master are Master Chief helmets. Actually, Master Chief helmets. So we had to. Uh, we painted them with them. acrylic paint. Right, I'm still trying to fix it because it's irritating me now. We can take a hair dryer to it. Do it later. We also picked up an energy sword from uh, Scarborough. From Scarborough. That he's going to paint up to make it look real nice. And we're going to give it to Cal to use. Yeah. That's to basically say there's a third sword that was found. The, yeah. the third key. Uh, he, he doesn't know what it's for. He's just like, oh, this is kind of badass. Switch for stab. That's, that's Tucker's thing. I know. And I still can't believe that guy recognized what I was saying when I said that. We were out at the booth where we got that, and... He uh, he was raving around, and I said, swish, swish, stab, and the guy next to us looking at other stuff was like, that's awesome, and started laughing. Yeah. 
Of course, I was dressed up as Ruby at the time, so yeah. it worked. I was technically dressed as Caboose, but I didn't have this sucker on. So you couldn't tell it was Caboose. Oh, I'm glad I didn't wear this because of how hot it was that day. Luckily, well, we're going to be inside when we wear those. Yes, when we're doing the actual uh, costumes with Caboose and Ruby, we are going to be indoors this time around. So. The only time we're going to be outdoors is if we have to walk to it. Yeah, I can carry the helmet for that. Yeah. And hopefully, once I sure up uh, Crescent Rose over here, it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I thought about investing into, since I've been working so much, I've had, I got a little bit of money saved to where I can invest in a higher quality Crescent Rose, but there's none that fold. If there was a folding one, that would have been awesome. I found one that can fold, but there's lots of technicalities with it and lots of bad reviews. Like, I might just go for the cheaper, nicer version of yeah. the scythe. Yeah, I would do that, to be honest. Just that they are made of plastic. Oh, that's pretty awesome. What? Yeah, it's a Predator costume. Oh, sweet! Uh, if you is got... that, isn't there a new Predator movie coming out? I think there is. I know they made it... They they did another one not too long ago. Oh, so close. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> they might have new shape by next week. Yeah, we may have we may have a, vid a special video being done on Tuesday, next Tuesday or Thursday. Yeah. In fact, we might be able to do it this Thursday. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Hopefully we'll get one more subscriber. That's all we need. Yes, we, we need, just need the one more subscriber and we will. I will be clean. The problem is, my family members who have seen me like the facial hair, so it's like... Because apparently, I can grow a beard, my dad can't. He can grow a goatee, a beard. Yeah, my dad had the same thing. He could grow a goatee and a mustache. He, I never saw him without a mustache growing up. So Ever. My, my, my family, who I live with, they don't know <laughs> about this little uh, promise we've made to you guys. So <laughs> they'll be asking, what happened to your beard? Like, I just decided to shave it off. It's hot. No, um, my, my excuse will be, it's summer in Texas. I'm burning up. I want to try it without the beard. Yes. Are you going to shave your head, head bald too? No. Maybe when you hit a thousand. No, I've got a better idea of something we can we can do for that. We've what? actually got a video, a couple videos that are kind of our lost videos right now. Oh. <laughs> one is on YouTube, but it's a private video. And I was thinking about releasing that one for a thousand. Our, your proposal? Yes. Oh, well, you know, we can do that. I wanted to clear that with you first, but that was the idea I had of um, releasing the proposal video, because... But we'd have to hit a thousand subscribers before that. Well, maybe I could do something with my hair. Not shave it, I'm not going to no, shave my head. No. But maybe dye... Pick a, pick a color. I don't look good bald. I don't know, I've never seen him with short hair. I had to shave it when I was little because I had lice. <laughs> so It was so bad that they, my, they had no choice. To shave everything. But your hair was different when you were a kid than you are now. Same shape. Yeah, yeah, Roughly yeah. the same shape. But yeah, I might. Maybe I'll. Uh, well, from here up, same shape. You guys can pick out a color and I'll dye my hair. Heck, you guys pick a color. I, I can get Blonde? A... I could go blonde. I have actually colored done, hair gels too. I've done strawberry blonde, but that was totally by accident and that was not my fault. I can, I can tell you all the story of how I became a strawberry blonde for a few months. Go for it. My mom, my brother used to frost his tips back in the early, late 90s, mid 2000s, and oh, I've done black too, but I don't mind going black. I can do black with Arctic Fox and have no problem. Mm -hmm. I was thinking like unnatural colors. I'd go blue. I, I like blue. I've done blue. I've done blue. Oh, wait. They didn't have, we didn't start streaming until after my hair died back to normal. That's true. We didn't. Well, we didn't start doing videos. Yeah. Where you guys could actually see us. We didn't have the camera at the time. No, it took a while for me to get the camera. And even then, I was hesitant to actually use the camera. But before last year, I had my hair dyed blue, mm -hmm. teal, and purple for a good chunk of time. I loved it. I'm afraid you missed it, but but we had fun. 
Mm -hmm. We'll be doing probably maybe if we're out and about Thursday, we might pick up some more random stuff. Mm -hmm. But we're right now we're just chilling. We tried uh, the crunchy M and M's, which were mm -hmm. good. A sour warhead ring pop thing that was bust. Bust. Total bust. I tried Carolina Carolina Reaper salsa from Bucky's. I would die. Yes, you would. But Bucky's is a local. Texas slash, there's one in Alabama now. There's one in Alabama, and I think they just started to open their first one in uh, Oklahoma. My hair? Yeah, it does grow. My gr my hair grows pretty fast. Mm -hmm. Well, if you guys actually watched the, the last video we did, she's actually cut it since then. Yeah. Uh, we haven't done a, as we said before we got started, we haven't done a, one of these live streams like this for a few weeks, but that's because our schedules have been really weird and we've had a lot of issues lately. Uh, our, our work last week had a power outage. Mm -hmm. We lost everything. Which my new department, which I am now transferring from meat market to dairy as the dairy manager over there, um, <laughs> I had to, I got started with a clean slate. <laughs> yeah, completely Which clean. is nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of nice. Well, you kind of did too because you're, you're technically getting promoted as well. Yeah, but they haven't given it to me yet. No, but they've given me the job, at least. Yeah, but I'm doing the job and not the pay. Yeah, you need the pay. Well, anyways, yeah, we had a power outage sun last Sunday when some storms rolled into our area in Texas. I was leaving, right? I was getting, I uh, had someone coming in from the store to help me because I needed to go home because I was working a long day. So I was like, okay. So she came in. I was just go going through the run run down and then the power went out just for a second mm -hmm. it knocked out everything all our refrigeration our ac everything yeah. but by the oh. time i was leaving oh, so i left i thought okay it'll be fine it'll be fine they'll pop it uh, just got out before for a couple seconds and it was fine no big deal so i left i kept getting texts from her saying okay the power's gone the refrigeration's gone it's like well shoot I'm walking into a mess. Mm -hmm. I told her, don't worry about it. I'll get the whatever I need to get in the morning. Come in. We are throwing stuff away. A lot of stuff away. Do you remember the numbers that he told us today? It was a total of over a hundred thousand, like a hundred and fifteen or hundred twenty thousand dollars worth of product was just was gone, lost. Nothing we can do. We couldn't salvage it. It was out of hand. We couldn't do it, give it to anyone because it was food safety. There's nothing we could have done to prevent this. We have safety measures in way to keep them refrigerated as long as we could, but there's steps and Only stuff. so much we can do before we just lose everything. Yeah. Now, if you guys pay attention to the news, uh, it's actually the same weekend that a, I think it was, that's when the crane fell. Yeah, that crane. That was the same, uh, if you guys pay attention to the news and know about Dallas area, there was a crane that fell and actually killed someone, which is unfortunate. I yeah, think it fell into it, a building. It yeah. fell into a building and killed someone. So that was actually it happened around the same time. Yeah, it but that's the only reason I'm bringing it up. Because so. there's a lot of straight line winds. There was it no was. tornadic activity. It was straight no, line just winds. Straight. Those winds can winds can be really bad. They can be. Yeah, that sometimes happens too. I sometimes lose power on a, on a nice sunny day. Yeah, that's happened too. Uh, it's the power grid. That happened that my. Technically, my current location, but supposed to now to, soon to be my former location of job, um, no. where they were built. They were constructing a school behind where I work, and uh, during this the construction, they were try, I, They were either trying to link up or they hit the line. It shut down the power for like two hours. That happened to my store too when they were building a stores on the side of us. Right, right. They accidentally knocked it out for about three hours. Now. Within that within that two hour time period, the food is still safe. Two to three hours is fine. Two to three hours is still fine, uh, even for meats and seafood. That's fine. Because we have curtains to help keep them protected, and we close those and explain. Okay, if you really need to get in there, let us know. Actually, I think for us that happened before we had the curtains installed. Oh shoot! Yeah, when you losing power, you play a game. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> I, I I'll do you one better. I'll do you one better. I lost power while have, doing a stream. Oh yeah. That pissed me off so bad. I have some... I've gotten I've gotten lucky oh, in my man. game of life. I've never actually had that happen. I, I was so mad that the power went out during a live stream, guys. 
Which one was that one? I don't remember, but it happened. I think I was just starting up with my stream, and the power just went down. I remember that. You were so pissed. Oh, I was. You was like, I can't help you there, hon. I know. I, I was so mad. But I haven't had that happen. But I'll, I also make sure I save constantly. I always save as much as I can. Sometimes multiple files. Well, also, if you guys... I, I want to recommend the video that we've, I've been doing. Uh, two videos I've done so far. If you guys look at our Subnautica playthrough videos, they're actually mostly my maze construction. The first maze construction, where if you see how short those videos are, it's because I kept breaking the game. And every time I would get to a certain point, I had built so much that it would crash the game on me. So if you notice a lot of videos on that one, if you guys watch them, please do. They're really, they're kind of fun. Uh, I had a lot of fun doing them. Yeah. And recently I've actually started a new construction. A new I mates. have not watched those videos. Because she's the one who's going to be first to, to run it. And yeah. I'm having a lot of fun being a little bit devious with this thing. <laughs> so if you guys watch it, let me know what you think about what, what I've done so oh, yeah. far. Because I really want to have, I want you guys' input on them. So if you guys do watch them, write in the comments for me, please. Might I suggest something? Hmm. Take it out to where the ghost Leviathan are. Um, I'm not in that area. I know, but you can tell. I will start crashing the game if I start building out that far. Probably. It's worth a try. I don't wanna. What, you don't like the Ghost of Leviathan? No, I like him. He's kind of cool looking. Well, I can't wait for uh, Subnautica Sub Zero to come in because then we can yes. have a lot more fun. When that thing's released for the PS4, I will be getting it. And we won't cheat this time. We'll actually play thoroughly. Yes, we'll play properly. I technically cheated to beat the game, but I just wanted to see how the story played out. I wasn't really interested in the whole survival aspect at the time. I, I play it more for the sandbox mode. If I'm going to do a survival game, I'm playing The Forest. I love that game. Um, although I did die last time I played it. <laughs> I got I got killed for the first time ever in that game. Nice. That's why the video that, that, that has that is called NOT THE CAVE! For a reason. <laughs> oh, did you change the title to from the monster? No, wait, you haven't changed the title to Monster War yet. Oh, I did. Oh, yeah. I, did I did it yesterday. Don't like the lava? Do not lift the magma. Oh. Because you're underground, so it's magma. Yeah, but lava sounds better. It is liquid hot magma. Shut up. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do my Dr. Evil impersonation with that one. I've only seen the first one. Well, it was from the first one, wasn't it? That was from the second one. Okay, I've only seen bits and pieces. Shut I know, I, know. I haven't seen a lot. You're surrounded by magma. They're <laughs> inside a volcano. I'm sorry, Sam, I'm trying to reboot that yet. I hope they don't, because they would so screw it up. Oh, Mike Myers will probably be in it. Maybe it'll be his son. <laughs> which one? He's he's boinked so many women, I don't know how which one he's had kids with. Well, I don't know. I'm just thinking of ideas for the series, if they ever do that. Mm. You know? well, we'll, let, we'll let them handle that if they decide to do it. Oh, yeah. But now we, we've had a lot of fun doing these streams for you guys. Yeah, we have a lot of fun just chatting. Mm -hmm. You can join my cute little fluffy kitty on that sleeping back there. He's my fluffy one. He does have his own Instagram, even though I haven't really been, he hasn't been posting much. It's Simba the Fluffy One, mm -hmm. or at Simba the Fluffy One on Instagram. I will be uploading more pictures of him. I have a ton of them. I've just been dealing with stuff. Also, if you guys want to follow us on Twitter, I don't do it every day. I try to update periodically with, uh, like, what games I'm playing that night. Um, follow us on Twitter. It's at, at Teddy Soros. Productions. No, it's just at Teddy Soros. Nice. But it's Teddy Soros Productions, which is our channel here. Um, we we do enjoy this. I'm gonna try to keep that up to date. Uh, pretty much Not the schedule. Not any prank videos, really. No. <clears throat> we don't do that. No, we don't do prank videos. Partly because of where we live. In Texas, you pull a prank on somebody, you're possibly, if you, depending upon what you do, you could get shot. Or stabbed. Open carry on any any size blade is no. legal. No, we don't want to do that. I could carry around a katana if I wanted to, and I couldn't get in trouble for it. Technically, you could carry it around on a scythe that I could get, not get in trouble for. Yeah, you can. If it was actually bladed, it's wood. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't get... The, but, old, the only thing weapons so far that are still illegal in Texas are... I think switchblades. Makes sense. I I think the butterfly knives are... Brass knuckles. Or they're at least frowned upon, and brass knuckles are still... Anything that resembles a brass knuckle yeah. is is illegal here. I think they only need to get away with that, so if it's like cosplaying, even then they can't be metal. 
Well, I, I, there's one way you can do it. There's a sword cane that's an umbrella that has brass knuckles for the handle. Yeah. And then I think, Because it's not actually brass knuckles, it's just the way you hold on to the, the mean, umbrellas. I wouldn't mind if, like, uh, we start a prank war with us two. Yeah, we could try that, but, but I am terrible at pranks. And it's at my apartment, so I would have to clean up my apartment. Well, I'd help you. You know what I mean. The glitter war. <laughs> no. Hell oh, oh, I'm no. sorry, but I was, I was no. thinking about the... If you guys... If you get, we recommend webtoons to a lot of people. Nice. Because there is one webtoon in particular called Waffles and Pancakes. It is is pancakes or pancake? I mean, look, I have the webtoon. Because it is hilarious. Uh, they actually had one of their waffles and pancakes. Okay, it is a hilarious little uh, best friends kind of comic. Um, guy and girl that are best friends. Um, they are hilarious. Especially uh, Aiden. Aiden is, is funny, especially the most recent can, ones. I still, I'm still waiting for that cherry coke thing to become a... For the author to notice that. And she, you gotta keep posting that in every comment if you tell she adds it. You know you got to. The one about cherry coke being virgin coke? Yes. Yes, I know. I need to do that every time. You need to post that on every single... Uh, Until it becomes a top comment and then the, the author decides to actually make it yeah, a thing. Yeah, because it's a hilarious thing. Oh, I had another funny one. What? The, the one I told you about the menstrual cycle. Oh, yeah, okay, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not going to say that one any further, but... No. That was funny. No. I was laughing my butt off at work with this joke, guys. <laughs> and then I, I made the comment of uh, me hearing an adult poetry reading at Scarborough a couple years before I met him. I didn't know about that. I thought I came up with it for myself. <laughs> nope. But they just recently something recently updated one about uh, ducks. Mm-hmm. The episode before the current one, it uh, uh, was Kaya is the name of the girl. Yeah. He, he did, he's got these ducks following him around so much because he fed them for a while. So they've learned to associate him specifically with food. And they followed him they home. They followed him home. They won't leave him alone. So she finally looks at him and says, sometimes in life you have to punt a duck. The thing is, my best friend came up with saying when she's Hunting really, kittens. When she's really, really mad or pissed off, hunt some kittens. She's not a cat person. I am a cat person. I'm in general an animal person, so. And as far as the laser is concerned, he doesn't do lasers. He, I've gotten him to do it. A little bit, but then I did it too much and then he realized. Plus he's lazy. Yeah. He's he not, is a true Simba. Yeah. But technically he's the true Garfield now. Yeah, true. But he doesn't really like human food. There's only certain human foods he likes. He likes chips. popcorn, chips, and uh, bacon. He loves bacon. Well, I can't blame him there. Bacon's delicious. Yeah. Epic fail videos. Oh, uh, yeah, we could definitely do that. I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a little She's crazy. accident prone. Yeah, if you can't see, I smashed the head. Oh, yeah, you actually can see it. Yeah. See that? A little happy face you got there going yeah. there. Uh, I smashed the heck faces. out of my hand. What's more like screaming? Yeah. <laughs> I smashed the heck out of my head at work. Yeah. I, 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 I am... Oh, sorry. I'm so accident prone. I'm not so bad when he's around, but he saves me. Somehow. <laughs> Somehow. When, I, when he's not around, I am really bad. Funny thing is, I hurt myself a lot when I'm not around her. So we work, each, we work off each we, other. Somehow we work off each other on that one. We don't know how it works, but whatever. But I could tell you some stories of stuff I've done that's really bad. One of them I'm going to actually send me off to a hell freezer to let them know that one. It's not the cactus story. No. Bread slicer story. Oh, yeah. The, the possessed bread slicer. Yes. Which, uh, if you guys subscribe to Hell Freezer, he's really, really good. He tell, he He's a great... The other yeah. one I like listening to is Fun with Failure. Oh, yeah. But uh, I always sit, I sit in fun with my other one mm -hmm. about my brother, which I recommend. That was awesome to hear somebody else tell it besides her. Ever broke any bones? Right there. That leg. Four years old. Technically, when the bread slicer got me, I did it did nick a bone. So technically it did fracture, but it was at my tip, my mm -hmm. fingertip, so it doesn't really count, I don't think. Oh, and because I was four years old, um, yeah, I had a clean break, by the way. So that sucker oh, hurt. Oh, no, 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 it's not a beer. It's not a beer. No, it's not. It's, it's apple cider. cider. Pumpkin flavored apple cider. Pumpkin spice. Why not? 
Why not flavor everything pumpkin spice? Heck. Pumpkin spice is cinnamon, allspice, nutmeg, and I can't remember what else. I don't know, but I used to make pumpkin spice icing before yeah. they made it, but back when I was a cake decorator. There is no pumpkin in pumpkin spice, in case you guys are wondering and didn't know that. Yeah. It, it's it's a very old pumpkin spice apple cider. I'm it's sorry. From, it's from two years ago, really. It's from it's literally from two years ago. Yeah, it is really old, and it, I mean it doesn't taste bad, but it tastes okay. Yeah. It's still, it's, it was best the first time I tried it. Yeah, and I tried now it on it's the like, sample. It's like, not so good now. Yeah, it's like the time I got the holiday mint milk and then it went out of date. And I still tried it and I regretted it. Uh, Remember? Yeah. That's like one of our early test, uh, taste test dreams. Yeah, yeah, it was. I will get that chocolate mint milk and Google will try it when it comes back in the season. Yes, and only when it's in season. And as soon as I find red velvet milk, I will try that too. Because I want to try the red velvet milk. Mm -hmm. But... As far as the, let's see, what's the next big subscriber that's after 100? 150? Mm. Or should we do 125? I was actually looking more towards 200. 200? Yeah, let's yeah. do 150 first and then 200. We'll have uh, to figure I've out never what... had pig feet. Have you had pig feet? No, not yet. Nope. My grandfather bought my mom pickled piglets as a joke. What is wrong with your... Why, why? Why, 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 why? Why? Because he lives in Mississippi and thought it would be funny. I can see that. I can totally see that. I almost brought it to school for show and tell. I was like... Eight, I think, when, my, when that happened. Did your mom convince you not to? No, they already threw them out! They were gone! <laughs> I was like, hey! I'm glad they did. You probably would have scarred a lot of people for life. What do you need to try? I'm going to show them off. You still will scar a lot of people for life of that. I was in California. Okay, good point. <laughs> no, we haven't. They've been technology. fascinated with it, actually. True. Because they had never seen anything like that. I had never seen anything like that until that day. I haven't tried pig's feet, uh, but I've tried pork rinds, but it's different. That's fried pig skin. That's actually pretty good, especially salt and vinegar flavor. I'm not very. Really I don't really like pork rinds all that much. He I'm does. I've gotten hooked on them. I used to hate them. As a kid, I hate it. I used to be very, very picky. Now I don't care. I used to hate spicy food. Mm -hmm. Now I love it. That's probably because of uh, my car accident I had a couple years ago. Spicy food and me do not agree. Yeah. Well, I had, I had certain my, levels of spice. I've had, what? Five concussions in my life? None of them sports related, actually. She's not an athlete. No. Neither am I, actually, well, believe it or not. I did soccer for a while. I thought I was really, really good, and then we had to move. And then they didn't have anything where we moved to. Let's see what I've tried. I tried basketball. I tried soccer. I tried T-ball. Football? Um, I never made it to football because my parents already decided no. <laughs> um, Let's see. I think those are the only three team sports I tried, and I sucked every freaking one of them. Soccer I was okay at, but we moved, so we wouldn't get any further than that. Softball. I didn't want to play softball. I wanted to play baseball, but girls didn't play soft baseball one back in the nineties. True. Cause, yeah, suck. The nineties. Yeah. And then volleyball. I had potential, but I didn't like it. Golf. It's technically can be a team sport. I was good, but kinda. I didn't like it. I find it fun to play golf. See, it's pick boring as I'll get out to watch. We may have to talk to our friend uh, that's making soup. She makes all sorts of wild conco concoctions, mm. too. That might be up her alley. Yeah. If not, I can probably visit my friends in Louisiana and they can give me some pig feet. Mm hmm. Or we can hit the Asian market and pickle them ourselves. Uh, no. They have pig feet. I feel okay. Like I, I gotta, I gotta, I'll gotta. be right Sorry back. back this, is, this is really important. Sorry, guys. You're back. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, sorry guys. Kimba. Kimba. Come here. No. I better pull on the chat so you I can talk to you guys myself. I've been kinda of neglecting the chat today. 
But then again, I let Harp take care of the chat most of the time. Ooh. I'm gonna have to watch that video later. Now I've actually, as I said before, I've tried golf. We, sorry. I kind of hear you in the background. Oh, sorry, that was my grandma. Close the door next time. Sorry, guys. Just in case, close the door. That was my grandma. She doesn't know how to do voice to, to, um, she doesn't, she's not very tech savvy. No. Um, but yeah, I've actually tried golf. I used to play it with my dad occasionally. I did too. Um, it was fun. I that enjoyed was fun. it. I just, I was well, good, but I just didn't like it. I sucked. I was terrible. I, my dad kept trying to convince me to do the, the high school golf thing. The only time I ever had a good shot... Gumbo's good. ...is whenever I... We were on a par three. Oh, nice. And I actually made it onto the green from the tee box. You want, want to turn that down just a bit? I thought I, I, thought I had it down. <laughs> Gumbo's pretty good. My uh, mom's boyfriend makes some pretty mean gumbo. Gumbo, jambalaya. Yep. It all depends on what you put in, though. That's true. Um, and for me, it depends on how spicy it is. I remember going to a summer camp when I was in high school. They tried to do gumbo, red beans and rice, and jambalaya. <laughs> how bad was the red beans and rice fail? Oh. Bad. Ooh. And then the jump gumbo was not bad or either, any good oh. either. So I stuck to eating... Kickball was fun. Oh, yeah. Uh, I stuck to eating just, I, the red beans and rice were okay, mm -hmm. but I stuck to eating the red beans and rice and rolls for dinner. And this was a pretty active summer camp, so we were having lots of activities after. At this particular summer camp, which I loved, it, it, they actually have a elementary to high school age for all the summer camp. But it was a Christian oh. summer camp out in West uh, Texas. Ah. It's not near San Angelo area. No, no. Tyler. Oh, Tyler. Well, I got family out in the San Angelo area. Yes. Yeah. That's why I mentioned No, no, that. it's a uh, pine cove Christian camps. Ah. Uh, back in 2009, I went to a Christian rock concert out there, uh, the West Texas Boys Ranch. Really cool concert. That was actually the first concert I've ever been to by myself. Hmm. And technically the first I'm concert I've ever been to. Uh, the Gizzards and the Gumbo? Yeah. I've never tried doing that, uh, but we'd have to go to a specialty store to get those. Yeah. Well, I, during that night we had let's see, we had a big water slide, and after that we had a uh, I can't remember I can't remember what it was called, but we were throwing stuff at each other. The camp was divided into two different groups, not guys versus girls, just two different groups. And we had first was first oh was, that sucks. Coleslaw is delicious and stuffing too. Oof. Wow. Uh, stuffing's good. I can't stuffing. do coleslaw. We had I, a, I can do both, no problem. We had a shaving cream, mm -hmm. flour, and then the last one was really, really gross. What? Horse shit. They also had horses at the ranch, so they would... So, very fresh manure. They watered it down, so it was kind of like kind of like soup, soupy mud, kind of. So they were throwing it. It's like, and all the girls, since this was the thing they had done before, they told us to put soap and conditioner in our hair, so it would wouldn't stay there. Well, the problem was, it started to get runny and sweaty and wet and, you know, frightened the eyes. Luckily, I did not get covered in horse, any of the horse manure much. It was fun. We had lots of fun. I used to have snail and pine cone fights as a kid. What? I hate I, brown garden snails in California. Oh, yeah. They were rampant about where I lived, so me and my friends that, that lived in the cul-de-sac with me, we pick those suckers off the plants and throw them at each other as hard as we can to see it's, if they break. Well, it, the poop was all natural. Yeah, it's not going to kill you. No. It's going to smell bad, but it's not going to kill you. Well, the horses are very well fed, so it, yeah. didn't, it wouldn't really hurt you. No, it wouldn't. And they watered it down enough to where it didn't really smell all that bad. So that's gross. Yeah, it was. That was probably the wildest thing we ever did there. My sister got involved with the pine cone fights, though. Nice. So we, this is when I lived out near Seattle. Uh, we would find the pine cones because there are tons and tons of pine trees out there. Of course. So we'd pick up the pine cones, but we had a rule. 
It had to be one that had already released seeds. It could not be one of the ones that was still tightly closed. Because those would hurt. Those are painful! <laughs> That's like being pegged with a pine or a pineapple. <laughs> pineapple? Pineapple would explode though, at least. Yeah. Ow! But yeah, I mean, I don't know if they still do those, those uh, that kind of stuff nowadays mm -hmm. at Pine Cove, because it's been, okay, many years. Yes. I'm not going to say. Yes, water balloon fights were fun oh, too. Yeah. The only problem was when you ran out. Yeah. Or, and you fill it too much, and it just... Yep. Oh yeah, that was the fourth thing they had for that fight. Water balloons? Yeah. Because they get that in between the shaving cream and the... Helps you clean off! And the, the flower, so it, the flower would stick. What? That's what they did! I didn't do it! But it was fun! I'm trying I to bet. think of any other random stuff that used to be when I was there. Because it's been quite a number of years, but I love going to that place. The lake was beautiful. Looking back, I was kind of an a-hole to the to the bugs that lived in near me. <laughs> yes, you were, hun. But most boys are. I burned ants. I burned roly polies. I Ooh. roly polies pop when you do it too. It is hilarious. The, the the thing is using a magnifying glass. Yes, I find I found it funny because I didn't expect it. What? <laughs> oh, no! What? What? Roly polies. You know you find roly polies in dog turds, right? They eat turds. Oh, I did not know that. Yes, they eat turds. They'll eat anything. I used to collect them and keep them. So indirectly, you were playing with crap. <laughs> yeah, I, my mom stopped me after a while when I pretty yeah. older that. Yeah, I found I found out the hard way because I I have dogs oh, throughout my life, so I had to shovel the dog turds every day, or at least once a week, depending on the size of the yard. And every time I did, and if it was left there for too long, yeah, the roly polies got a hold of it. They were all in that thing. Oh, well, I It was nasty. I don't want to know. Then again, I watch people, the people on YouTube where they pour aluminum down to the ant piles. And stuff. I think that's awesome. It's then fire again, ants. It has to be fire ants, though. Then, or, in a, or if it's a native species other than fire ants, uh, it has to be abandoned. Yeah. <laughs> or a wasp nest. Yeah. Underground wasp nests are totally okay with me. I hate those little buggers. Well, we're only need one more subscriber. Yes, that's all we need, and we will fulfill our first ever goal and milestone in our in our channel. <laughs> yeah, we celebrated a little bit when it came to 25 and 20. We did. We had kind of like a small celebration. We were quite happy with that. Um, but we need one more to get him to shave. Mm -hmm. Which is why I've been growing it out for you guys, and I probably will once once I've shaved out. I'll grow it out straight out. I won't shave it all again for a while. Just keep it trimmed. Yeah, I'll trim it up. I'll keep it down to a certain length because it don't look too bad like this. I like it like this. Okay. You like it. But, what? How long have we been streaming? Too long. <laughs> we've been oh, going for a while. Almost an hour and a half. Yeah, we've been going for a while, guys. We really do need to end this stream. Because we gonna... are going to get on to the surprise game that yes. we're going to be playing in about. Five minutes. We just yes. need five minutes to switch things out. Switch things out. Get her signed up with PlayStation uh, Network. Yeah. And so we can get things going. Uh, Please it'll be fun. join us in the next uh, next uh, stream. We'll be five minutes. So five ten around. minutes tops. Plus I gotta use the restroom. So. And my phone died. In the meantime, guys, thank you very much for joining us and for watching. And thank also, you. please check out some of our other videos too, because we we enjoy doing these videos for you guys. Yes. Uh, and if you haven't already, please like. Like and subscribe to us as well. Also, hit that bell for notifications when we go live. And anytime when it, it'll up, notify you anytime we go live, and also when, whenever our videos update. And if you feel like it, share the videos, some of these videos with your with your friends or family that you think would enjoy them. Hopefully, they'll join us as well. Yep. Please subscribe. All right. We'll see you guys next very soon. Hopefully. Bye. Bye.